On the 11th of April 2020, there was an update that changed BG Skyblock. It is the addition of the well-known Overpowered Cross Slash. It is an unbreakable tool or weapon that you can use to mine, hit other players, or even flex. In this video, we will be going through the story about what happened to the only theoretical legit cross slashes. To begin with, cross slash is a multifunctional tool that can be used to mine blocks and hit players. It has the best mining capabilities as well as the highest damage possible in BG Skyblock, which to many people is very overpowered. The only drawback is that it is locked behind a massive paywall. A wall which you can only tear down by paying a lot of money. The cross slash costs 2,599 G-cubes to obtain from the shop and to make matters worse, this is the only encouraged way you can obtain this item. When the cross slash is announced and released, almost everyone is surprised by the price tag, and only a few people ever manage to get one for their own. The hype around this item was unimaginable, that people would do anything they can only to obtain this item. But soon enough, this would all change. On an unknown date between April and May, there was a little glitch that was discovered by the selected players. What comes to mind first are duplication glitches. Duplication glitches are easy to understand, hard to discover, but when it gets well known throughout the community, it is a nightmare. A duplication bug, or commonly abbreviated as a dupe bug, is a video game bug that replicates a valuable gaming element, gaming currency, or in our case, an item. The ones who knew this bug were the lucky ones who used it for their own advantage and tried everything to keep it a secret. This caused players to be more suspicious over the dupers. Eventually, word came out that these people are blatant dupers who only denied to admit it. This secret dupe bug remained private for long until the developers made a mistake. A very big one. May 30, 2020, there was an update for BMGO, namely 1.12.2. This includes an update specifically for Skyblock, but there was a problem. The update caused an unknown data corruption which affected Skyblock servers specifically. When players try to drop anything on other people's island, they have the mysterious power to duplicate them by going home, and the dropped items will remain to whomever picked it up and the person who dropped them will still have the item. It doesn't matter if it's a dirt block or a cross. People found out of this bug within hours and it spread faster than wildfire. Although BG moderators at the time have this situation monitored, they had a rough time dealing with this corruption. Players kept abusing this bug and gave away cross slashes, including other items, which cost G-cubes to literally anyone without a word. It was a hype, and later on, everyone became golden rich, sitting in their gilded thrones. But all this hype shortly turned into the emptiness. Already mentioned, it took time for the developers to fix the corruption, specifically 6 days to release the fix in version 1.12.5. That is a lot of time for knowledge and words to spread. At this point, playing BG Skyblock lost its point due to everyone was rich because obviously everyone duped. If you know economics, dumping a lot of currency to the economy will cause lots of items to lose their value. 
And this is exactly what happened to people who brought Crosslash legitly. They wasted 2,599 G cubes, which is roughly $52 worth of G cubes, only to be thrown down the drain because the item they have paid for lost its value. This is very unfortunate to the people who actually paid this amount of money for a virtual premium item. The proposed fix was really useless in fact. The damage has been done once again and players still have their dupe stash full of cross slashes and other items. It would have been better if they actually removed the duplicates or wiped the skyblock data for people who duplicated, but nothing. Not a single player got banned or not a single dupe data was reverted because they have earned too much money to the point where making this change is trivial and insignificant. Kid me not, duplication glitches are still and will always be possible as players have dedicated time to research and find these dupe bugs to abuse for their own advantage, growth, and YouTube views. Many people stopped playing Skyblock after this bizarre week of exploitation because instead of grinding the items that you want, you can just effortlessly get them out of thin air by duping. On top of that, there isn't even an intended free-to-play way in getting these premium items as they can only be bought by G-Cubes or by paying which just resembles my recent video. So how about the only legitimate copies of Crosses? Starting from the private duplication glitches, fake cross slashes started appearing and possibly distributed to many people. The only ever people who bought this item from the shop were granted with wealth, charisma, and YouTube views as people at the time were really interested on having their own cross. More and more crosses that was obtained illegally using illegitimate methods such as duping appeared around the massive duping week from May 30 to June 5 of 2020. This is where the community has totally lost the only batch of legitimate crosses, the ones that was bought using G-Cubes. Due to this event, we can conclude that there were only a few true slashes out there, and you can guarantee that above 99% of people that have this item are fakes, duped items, and illegitimate. So what can we learn about this? Looking back, BG Skyblock is a flawed game in the first place. Instead of items being grindable by time and effort, Everything is tangible with the power of G-Cubes and money. As we all know and hate, this very shop is what you usually consider as pay to win, but it all depends on how you play this game. Whether competitively or socially, there is a point where for each player, the game can be described for its hunger for money. What do you think about BG Skyblock and its forever strain of duping tainted upon every player? Let me know in the comments down below, enjoy, subscribe, and as always, make it possible.